Fox News alert everybody significant new developments in the debate over the mosque near Ground Zero. The New York Times today published an editorial from Imam Faisal Rauf. He's the man who has become the public face of the mosque. He defended the project and pledged to push forward. And now we are getting new reaction from the families of the 9-11 victims. Deborah Burlingame, who has become the unofficial spokeswoman for some of those families, firing back at the imam's piece. Burlingame's brother died during the attack on the Pentagon. David Lee Miller reporting on this from our New York newsroom. David Lee, what did Deborah Burlingame say? Well, make no mistake about it, the gloves, if they weren't off already, are definitely off now. Burlingame told us in a statement, and I'm going to quote her now, Imam Faisal, having fled the country for the entire summer while he leaves it in chaos, now comes back as if none of this debate occurred. She went on to say he's now going to proceed basically planting his flag in the ground, despite the fact that 72 percent of Americans view it as an act of provocation and insensitivity. She also said, quoting her again, make no mistake, this is an arrogant and aggressive attempt to exploit 9-11 and to define what happened that day according to his views. This is a grab for history. She concludes, we will fight this. And very quickly, Megan, I should add that uh, she says the New York Times has never published anything she has written and her remarks this time around, she is not going to even submit to the newspaper. Megan. David, what, what did the imam say that has inspired such a reaction? Let's go to his statements uh, that were published in the New York Times this morning. One of the things he said, and I'm quoting him now, Imam Faisal Rauf, quote, we are proceeding with the community center, Cordoba House. I am convinced this is the right thing to do for many reasons. Let's stop for one moment, make it and punctuate this point. He is calling it Cordoba House, not Park 51. A number of weeks ago, there was supposed to be a name change from Cordoba House to Park 51, because in the minds of many, Cordoba had a negative association. You might recall that Newt Gingrich came out and called it a deliberately insulting term. It invoked Muslim conquest of uh, Jews and Christians in Cordoba, Spain in the 8th century. Supporters of the Bosnian Community Center have said that this was nevertheless a period of peaceful coexistence. Bottom line here, the name Cordoba is again being used. Let's continue, though, with another quote from today's New York Times uh, op-ed piece by the imam. He said, quoting him again, there will be separate prayer spaces for Muslims, Christians, Jews, and men and women of other faiths. The center will include a multi-faith memorial dedicated to victims of the September 11 attacks. And he also said today, quoting him again, I am very sensitive to the feelings of the families of 9-11, as are my fellow leaders of many faiths. Um, uh, and uh, and we, we will consider uh, what they have to say regarding the ultimate plans for the community center. The bottom line here, Megan, he's saying he is going to be sensitive to the 9-11 families. The 9-11 families say he continues to be insensitive. And lastly, much has been said here about where the money is going to come from in this entire piece. He said only one sentence addressing the money. He said, and I quote, I know there will be interest in our financing, so we will clearly identify all of our financial backers. At the end of the day, everything here seems to essentially remain the same as before this article was published. Megan? So interesting. David Lee Miller, thank you. We have been running a series of